The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on Nude Clan, it's my turn for a game show. Shall we play a game? Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan. Way to come in there early. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It doesn't matter. I'm your host, Caleb Craig. This is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Schweiss. I can't hear you, Caleb Schweiss. Caleb Schweiss. Why? So Can quiet? you still not hear him? Did somebody turn my gain down? I did, Please. but yours should be even with mine. Okay. Oh, yeah. You talk like two inches away from the mic, so it's different. Yeah, I don't eat the mic anymore. Oh. So. I still do. Yeah. He's got his fill of balls in his face. Yeah. I've, uh... <laughs> I've put this thing balls deep in my mouth one too many times. Mm, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm Joseph DeGaulier. And okay. today... <laughs> what are we doing today, Craig? <laughs> today we're going to have a little game show. It's uh, my turn to Is do so. Is like the, the go-to to when you don't know what to plan for an episode? Well, <laughs> my plans for doing for honor fell through, so... Right. Yeah. Why is that? Is it because it doesn't have a campaign? Or? No, it does have a campaign. <laughs> it it's just campaign. that no. Cam Cam and I didn't play it, so... <laughs> and it's not like that was set to be reviewed today, though. Uh, so. It kind of was. I told you four times, oh, and no. then it's like, oh, we're going to do for honor? <laughs> we're not going to do it. Yeah, that was Cam Cam impression, by that the way. It was no. perfect and spot I just, on. Uh, I got things to do. Uh, that just, was never just, something that I'm going to play for like a I'll mission and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm just, I'm that just was really tired. Something. Caleb was oh. just like, hey, do you want to play this uh, hard mode with me? Sure. I'll play it. And so we played it and then that was that. He never said he wanted no, to do yeah, it for I an episode like because he doesn't want to plan for an episode. I do though. What were you going to do other than that? Uh, the game show. <laughs> yeah, the one he planned last night. <laughs> the, yeah. well, I'm sorry, what? The one he planned last night. Oh, the one he planned last yeah. night. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That right. was another dig on, on him. Did he ever plan that game show? Are we, oh, wait, which version of which game are we playing today? We're going to play both. Okay. The one that, oh. the, uh, yeah, we're going to play the uh, Metascore game and the Metacritic game again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've never played the Metascore game. <laughs> it's new. It's okay. another rip off from another podcast. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's what we love to do around here. We, 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 do, off love, of the uh, we do love uh, the ripping off of the podcast. I'm actually going to take my headphones off. Not that the audience needed to know that. <laughs> um, before we get to all that, though. <clears throat> Got to know what everybody has been playing. Yeah. Uh, for me, <laughs> I've been playing. Uh, yeah, we do. Here we <clears throat> for, I've been playing some Overwatch. I uh, just played some a little bit earlier today. I uh, played Age of Empires 2, uh, Civ 5, um, For Honor, and some Darksiders. Nice. Cool. You're yeah. going to have that Darksiders ready for next week? Yep. Nice. You sure about that? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know. That second one was less sure than the first one. Yeah, it's my We're like, fun. yep, and then... <laughs> is that what happened uh no but you know let's roll with that cameron what have you played um pretty much the same thing besides overwatch so i played and battlefield one battlefield one um age of uh, empires civ 5 <clears throat> also played darksiders a little bit and i don't own overwatch but i did play darksiders so yeah hmm all right. Um, let's see. Age of Empires 2, 1. Um, Civ 5, also a victory for me. <laughs> I, uh, let's see. I played probably about two and a half hours of, uh, what is it, Tales of Zestiria. Still wish I could stream it, but the company doesn't want me to, so I can't. It's unfortunate. I know. And I did probably like an hour, two hours of Final Fantasy 13 2 as well. And I played a shitload of Battlefield 1 with Cameron, so. Yep. I have since Sunday played about sixteen hours in Final Fantasy thirteen too. Wow, that's pretty so sick. So that's that's all I've done. In fact, I am on the final bullshit puzzle level before the final <laughs> boss. To me, it just seems like Final Fantasy thirteen, the Final Fantasy minigame game. 
That's what it looks like. Every time I'm watching someone do it, they're doing some random bullshit puzzle. So it doesn't even look like the game to me. I no, not really. Okay, it, it's pretty much go to the point and do your thing. It's it's a lot like thirteen. <laughs> Every time Caleb's way. over there doing some timed event, he has to walk on the tiles in the correct order, or else he's gonna get it all fucked up. Oh yeah, that thing. I like that game actually a lot. Well, that's it. Just seems like to me it's the game of mini game. Well, it's it's basically a response to FF 13s kind of. We're we're gonna still do a hallway in thirteen two, but it's a hallway with some branches on it that you can go <laughs> down and a um, little bit of exploration and a little bit of other things to do on the way. Thirteen, oh, the original right. thirteen didn't really have much of that, and so in many ways, I would say thirteen two is an improvement. Okay. And I'm actually enjoying my time at thirteen two, and uh, I understand for the most part, maybe <laughs> not the deep lore that just came up in the game. I understand kind of what's going on. <laughs> and given that this is a convoluted time plot game, uh, that's saying something because 13 was real rough on the understanding what the fuck's going on uh, yeah. aspect. So I, uh, I'm actually enjoying my time there. I haven't touched uh, Zestria yet, but I plan on doing that after I beat 13 2, which should be tonight or tomorrow. So How nice. long is 13 uh, 2? How long have you spent in it so far? I just said 16 hours. Well, is that I like started, all you've played? That's yeah, oh, what Sunday. he said. Yeah. Oh, geez. So it's only like, what, a 17-hour game? Uh, it's looking like it's going to be, yeah, looking like it's going to be there. I did uh, a <coughs> yeah, good yeah, play on it, like, easy mode. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Uh, yeah. I see. So, Schweiss so normally it would be that. like a 25-hour game. Schweiss is definitely going to give me shit for that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, of yeah. course. It, I think it said it was like a 22-hour game. 27. 27. 20, <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 27, my Joe ass. cut off 10 hours by playing it on easy mode. Oh, is he amazing? Played it on easy or is mode, and dude? there were two areas that I'm sure that if I w- didn't pull out a guide for, I would have been lost and wandering around for a while, so that makes sense to me. Mm. Easy mode and a guide? Yeah. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Man, I gotta beat these fucking games, you dude. You don't have to apologize. All I liked was that the, the 43 games we have left for UFF, and I'm like <laughs> sweating. You know, if he, th- he would find a way to make this game play itself like he did the other one, he probably would. What game played itself? The one 4 where, and yeah, 12. Yeah. Oh, but that, I still played and, the game. <laughs> and then you got Parasite Eve, where you played most of the game. Fuck you. <laughs> it was a, taking me like a week of leveling up in that there's slow a vi- ass <laughs> fucking museum. There's that's a, the best place to level up in the game, There's a vibrant history of it was a pretty good place to level up. Okay. <laughs> this is not cheating. It's cheap. This one's not cheating. You're right. <laughs> the other one, I, I would say, is the uh, the the fine line of cheating and cheap. Anyway, yeah. Did uh, anybody beat a game? <laughs> no, I haven't. And I did not beat a game. <laughs> nope. I'm a real gimp this year so far. <sighs> I tried to beat thirteen two the other night, but then I got stuck in the puzzle. Well, at least in a row, no one beat a game. Yeah, yeah I was game. watching him play it, and he was just jumping off this cliff over and over Dude. and over again. <laughs> I mean, suicide? So my plasma television, as nice as it is for movies, like it's got a real good color kind of thing going on. Nice true blacks. It doesn't, it doesn't have that motion blur that the LCD screens have, which always bugs the shit out of me. Um, this, so it's the reason I got the plasma, but plasmas are not great for video games. And I don't think it's in game mode, and I should probably try doing that. But there is a small delay when I press that X button. She jumps. There's a small <laughs> one, and it is killing me. Yeah, it the delay was over and over. I have to restart it like little sections of this fucking stupid puzzle. The delay was something you first noticed when you were playing Rocksmith, right? Because it's uh, heavy, Rocksmith. On Rocksmith yeah, because like, you can tune it on Rocksmith, though. Can't you? I don't know. A guitar here, I know you could, but... No, it, it only has its delay between the guitar and the game. Oh, well. Um, it's just, yeah. Rocksmith. Yeah. It'll just start, like, midway through the song. It'll start lagging just a little bit behind. You just need to get a tiny LED TV, like the one I have upstairs. That one doesn't have any uh, motion blur because yeah. it's tiny. So. Now, well, do you remember playing the Chocobo game in Final Fantasy X? Yeah, mine was and great. You for couldn't it. do the fucking balloons on my TV, but you could do it on yours. Yeah, I could not do it on your TV. It's impossible. <laughs> it's too. It's too lazy. Like it's it's super crisp on mine. It's like very crisp. But Joe's, it's like more fluid, and it's it's fucking bullshit. I couldn't do it. I had to plug in uh, my TV. 
<laughs> and uh, I did it in like and few tries. platformers are like impossible on it. So yeah. playing Mario on yeah, that, that would thing, be super annoying. Can't do it. Devastating. Dude, 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 could you imagine him doing uh, fucking Metroid Prime on his TV? Ah, oh, dude, no. <laughs> that game's already evil. That's already bullshit because you can't look where you're jumping. But yeah, then can't look where you're jumping, and there's a delay. Yeah, that would be way vicious. Yeah. Oh boy. You so get past the first level. <laughs> so it's pretty fucking bad. Uh, God, dude, I'm still pissed off. But I'm like, I'm like two thirds of the way through the area puzzle, which I I bet when Schweiss gets to that thing, he finishes it in a fucking like thirty minutes, <laughs> because he probably won't have the stupid jump problem I have. Yeah, I don't think so. so. I, it looked pretty bad. Like you were you were just fucking walking off. I was like, what are you doing? Just fucking doop. she just wants to die dude she's like <laughs> and it is bizarre because most ff games you don't have that ability to just fall you know it's not a platformer well, series the original so. 13 had little Jump little spots. blue circles, circles yeah. and it would just auto jump yeah that caused problems with camera <laughs> angles sometimes but. i could really use that ability right now in 13 too yeah i could really use that and i don't have that and it's pissing me off but <clears throat> Whatever. I guess we're all just losers because the hogs had us. So, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and still do Nude Clan Hogs. So, next week, um, you can use the form, you can use Twitter, or you can uh, start a, a post in the forums. But um, give us your how many games you've beaten so far this year. Yeah. Uh, currently, for the hosts, um, Craig and Wilson are tied for first place. Still, still. tied. And I imagine we'll be tied uh, still. With four games. Yeah. Schweiss is in third place <laughs> with three games beaten, and I am in fourth place with two games beaten. So, got some work to do, got man. Some, yeah, some serious work Especially to do. Especially with those 14 expansions, those aren't going to count. So, we got to get through this quick. Oh, God. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. A week of our life. No. No That's, hog. Yeah, I think that might take longer than a week. Remember how I was like, hey, I'm going to play this game till I'm to where your guys are at so I can play with you and you do the expansion. Yeah. And I haven't touched it since. Why not? Because <laughs> <laughs> we've been playing other games like Civ Five and other stuff that's more fun. That Civ Five is, oh, did he say it's more is fun. good. He did say it was more fun than, than that game. <laughs> okay. How <laughs> dare you? You know, maybe we should take ourselves to the tribunal for not reworking the... Uh, the nude hog. Oh yeah, the well, nude clan. You guys like we said that we were going to do at the beginning of this month. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, 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 and then totally happening? didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. Craig, you just uh, ate that by what twenty. Did? Yeah. <laughs> it just happened in a flash, and then yeah. regress. Little Lenny in a little hot flash. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> shit. Nude clan hog. Still, I guess. I guess do super hog if you guys want. It's just uh, we're going to be. We're gonna be tuning it up. So uh, yeah, if I you want to, that a week ago, and I didn't. Touch if you want to do it, you can. We're just gonna be removing a certain category, or at least separating the two. So um, I don't keep track of it, I guess. We also have a guy who's working on an app for us. I still haven't uh, downloaded that app. I have the file. <laughs> I have not done so, but it's gonna be called Hogib. Um, it's like that Libib program that we were all using to keep track of our oh, shit. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, boy. Wow. But he doesn't know about the changes we're going to make, so we're going to have to make him change it, and then we can... We're going to have to make him change yeah, it? Yeah, we'll make him change it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, remember that thing you were volunteering to do? Yeah, we're now forcing <laughs> you to do it this way. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I guess you can keep doing it. Just keep track of all that shit. Not everything is going away, so um, just keep track of your movies and your... Uh, games i guess and everything else and we'll we'll work it out <sighs> all right you can go to nudeclan.net <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's forums there and shit and uh if you want to support the show amazon uh link there on uh nudeclan.net click through that buy your shit buy, buy your, your condoms your yeah. buy your magnum uh, trojan condoms that's happened on uff and that was awesome um, <laughs> Patreon. Not that I experienced the Magnum. You sure? Uh, the, 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 uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't know, dude. I'm losing my train of thought today. I got... It's the Magnum Dong. That's no, the yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's the Magnum Dong, yeah. It whacked me in the <laughs> face earlier. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry. I'll just, have to keep that in my pants better. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just flops out or no? No, I just tried to imagine it and it didn't fit. 
No, yeah, it fits. <laughs> nah, yo, well, there's oh, a, if if, <laughs> if, if you take that however you want, or, uh, if there's liver. a will, there's a way. <laughs> if the condom fits, let's just say. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. You were on plugs, Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. Facebook.com slash new clan podcast. It's new spelled N E W D. You can go to uh twitch.tv slash new clan gaming, see us play the games live and see Caleb Craig get really pissed off. Yeah. Uh it's you can true. tweet me at Joseph DeGulier. Me at Obsidian Bob. Me at Nude Clan Cam. Me at UFF Podcast. Okay, Craig. You got our fucking games for us or not? Oh, Hold on, we got to do questions and shit. Questions? Oh shit, we got a question? <laughs> we do. <laughs> we, we do? Thoughts on VR. This no. is uh, last Sunday. This is from Haley Blue 156 by the way, on the forums. Last Sunday, I bought the VR headset for PlayStation, thinking that it would be really awesome to have. I never get motion sickness at all, but after one hour of playing it, it hit me so hard. I had to really think about if I wanted to keep this thing or return it. Sadly, I returned it the next day. My question to you all is, what are your thoughts on VR and gaming? Is it just somewhat of a money grab, or will it stay? What game would you like to see as a VR game? Have any of you tried it yet? The game I'd like to see as a VR game is already a VR game, and that's Resident Evil 7. Um, oh, yeah, they do have a VR thing for that. Yeah, you can play it front to front to back with VR. Um, something like that, some sort of survival horror. How does that thriller. work? Does it, is your head now the directional control? I think so, yeah. Or, or no, it's, only it's the not. Screen. They have, like, um, kind of like little uh, Wiimote nunchuck things that you have for the VR, right. and that's, like, the your controller and how you move around. Oh, is it? No. And then, and then the, the, but your camera pan is your head, right? And shit. <laughs> I don't... Actually, I have no idea about that. Uh, Maybe I've seen, I've seen people play with, uh, with the little sticks moving around, so I don't know. Because if, if you're just sitting there, the it's just like, you now you have your TV that's on your eyes, and you're just sitting there. Which is okay, I guess. It's not virtual reality when you're not actually like engaged and looking around and stuff. Yeah, I think for right now, VR is more of a gimmicky thing. It and only is, yeah. exists for first person shooters Are and other saying? first person games. Yeah. Are so it's. Saying? How dare you say it's a gimmick, Craig? Dude, I would say it's a $400 gimmick that is yeah. not worth it right now. How dare you? It is a gimmick. Um, it's just like the Wii motion controls. That was a gimmick at the time. I would say it's, it's a, just like 3D movies. Yeah. Fucking gimmick. Or or those Blu rays that are interactive. Jesus Christ. There's nothing worse than like renting an old Blu ray and it's like it shows a little loading screen up in the top right corner. And oh, like, yeah. Connect to the go. internet so you get updated. Here we uh, go. Yeah. <laughs> give me those fucking new previews. And then it's like trying to be fun and shit. There's like little mini games that you've got on the Blu ray. And I'm like, I just want to watch the fucking movie. Like, I don't, I don't. Why do you get to fuck with this? Like, there was a time where Blu rays were this thing that everyone's like, ooh, we, we have all this space. Let's make it super interactive and like. Oh, it'll be great, except for it loads for like two minutes to get anything, and then you just skip to the menu and watch the fucking movie anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing worse than that, I swear to God. And the school, they have a shitload of them that are that way. It's just like, oh, oh, do you want to play the uh, the little hidden level where you can go through as the character and like select what you want to do? And I'm like, no. Did you ever play one of those? I There was one on the Sinbad movie, and yeah, I played it, but it was stupid. <laughs> We need a review on it. The yeah. Sinbad movie. <laughs> yeah, the uh, seven. The cartoon one? Yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's DreamWorks, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, that's why it has a game. It's a kid's one. Yeah, but jeez, dude. I, it's like they, they try to do something cool, and then after a little while, they dropped off, and they're like, hey, fuck this. We're it's like playing a video game, but with your shitty remote and not as good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing says fun like my PlayStation you know, three remote or four remote. I'm like, yeah, oh, this is great. I love this D pad on this thing. Um, honestly, I've tried like one second of VR. Um, wasn't that impressed by it, frankly. Was it VR um, porn? No, it was oh, not okay. VR porn. Unfortunately, it was like so a do it. It was like a Star Wars Episode Seven desert thing. Oh, okay. um, and you just kind of stand around and look around and be like, oh, this is what Star Wars Episode Seven's going to look like. <laughs> and that's about it. That's uh, mm-hmm. And then I went, huh, okay, all right, moving on. So I've tried a little bit of VR. It was really that, that bow and arrow game we have. It's like really bad, like, you know, 
I guess you'd say Minecraft type graphics, but you're sitting there on a tower, you can't move around, you're just looking around with your bow and arrow and shooting it. But um, you know about that VR amusement park that's supposed to come out here sometime soon? What they got is this warehouse, basically, and then with the motion sensing camera, sensing cameras all over the place, and you have your VR headset on, and depending on whatever what game you want to play, you can do laser tag and stuff like that, then they change your environment. And so I think if we get to try that, maybe our opinions on VR will change, where you're actually a part of the environment. It's tracking mm. you as you're walking through. Mm. You're fighting you, you know, the enemy team and doing stuff like that, or you're finding monsters or whatever, but an actual interactive environment while wearing a headset. That's the more what VR should be. We're and talking yeah. about the VR it, right. for consoles and PCs. I think what would be cool is if they had a... Uh, like a roller coaster tycoon game, and they had a VR element that you could turn on and like were test you like, out your roller yeah, coasters. You, uh, oh, that would be Or you like walk through from what you you walk <laughs> through your park and you're just like looking around. Did you get motion sick? <laughs> That'd be yeah, kind of yeah. interesting. And then your character throws up when you get uh, motion <laughs> sickness. And then, and then cool you're for Sim City too to like little visit little your buildings uh, all over your yeah. keyboard and then run into your couch. Yeah, <laughs> in the middle of the living room. Also, the Sims <laughs> would be kind of a cool one for that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a Sim. My dreams have become reality oh wow first person now you're someone like can tell me somebody. what to do i can go go get a job and, <laughs> and have a family yeah <laughs> and do my Set budgeting on fire in that day caleb closed his door to never be opened again <laughs> and they just see like the light emanating from like the cracks around the door <laughs> kind of oh like that yeah God. And the little zoom in, zoom out thing. He's built like a whole city. He's recreated Provo and uh, <laughs> all the way down to Payson. So he has his house. No, but it's the VR version. No, no, Everybody's but, naked. And then, and then yeah. he, he has slightly changed everything to make his life better. <laughs> no, it would be my perfect city where I made everybody rich, tax the shit out of the poor, and then everything will be perfect. <laughs> it's the perfect utopia. <laughs> Dude, there was no crime, no homeless, like no fires. Everyone was intelligent. <laughs> It was amazing. Yeah, you know, I don't. It was the best city ever. The poor can live here. They Your best city afford. ever was you only taxing the poor. Yeah, I got rid of the poor and only had rich people and like. Uh, oh, you got rid of the poor by only tax. Yeah, yeah. By tax. Oh, yeah. yeah. Tax the shit out of them. They all moved so into they, my place. So they left. Yeah, they went into <laughs> Caleb's town. So we got a shitload more population. But then, like, yeah, I, my town was perfect. Your your version of winning in that game is extremely questionable, Caleb. That's You're like, hilarious. I'm doing super well. I'm like, oh, what's your population at? You're like, oh, six thousand. I no, it's not judged by population, man. I had no. No problems. Yeah, but all. I had like two homeless people and I, I had, had 180,000 no people. <laughs> I'm, I'm banking way more fucking money Yeah, but money your people you. set fires all the time because they were well, retarded. They had yeah. to come to my city for they education. They obviously weren't retardants. <laughs> yeah. Or else the fires wouldn't go. <laughs> yeah. That's come on, Caleb, retarded. Idiot. That game was so glitched in the beginning, man. There were times where like my, my population would be almost max intelligence and like education level. And then all of a sudden, the nuclear power plant oh, would yeah. be like failure imminent. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? What is like everyone that works there, Homer Simpson <laughs> employee? Like it's the only the 30 stupid people in my city are all working for this power plant. And it happened like three times. The game is. Wasn't it glitch, though, that the power plants would do that? Yeah, it was. It was the game being shitty. And then there was also a problem where like 85% of the traffic would be taken up by taxis that just did circles. Yeah. And so like no one would be able to get anywhere in your town because there's like a flood of taxi cabs that are just doing the same thing over and over and over yeah, again. You, you basically to solve that, you had to build like a shitload of buses, which yeah. cost a fuck ton of money. And like I had this stadium, I had a stadium that I would play shows at every night and it used to bank just rolling tons and tons of dough for me. But that happened to me. Like it was just taxis. There were like 60 taxi cabs just doing donuts God. around the, the lot right next to it. And no one could get in. No one could get to the fucking shows. <laughs> so this like million dollar stadium I built. We're doing just, a taxi union strike. Yeah, that's what they did. They fucking... Yeah, I just fucking uh, protested right in the middle of the road. No one could get to work. No one could God, get to... dude, I miss having my PC. Jesus. I know. Yeah, please can't Sin be talking City. about all these, all these games that I need to play. What, uh, okay, what What time are you doing Godzilla? Like seven? Seven, yeah. Mm. That's not, I have to do research for it. That's not going to happen. Well, what about after? No gaming is going to happen. Tonight? Tonight was 13-2 finish. 
but we could if I go up to Ogden and get your PC, <laughs> <laughs> then we play Civ Five. We play Civ Five. <laughs> the numbers, Mason. What are the fucking numbers? It would be awesome. What are the numbers, mean? And uh, the last game of Civ Five we played only took three hours. That's which, true. Only, <laughs> hey, dude, I that's know, fucking fast. Do you have an extra game. Ethernet cable? Uh, I do. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we do have. Where an the extra fuck one. would that computer go? I don't know. You it would, would go it like TV. right here for now. Right on this desk that we're doing uh, the uh, podcast No, we could put it right on the other side, right there. Right on the, the tower could go there. The monitor could go right there. I'm playing here. You're playing you there. Cameron's the playing here. Money. Craig is playing at home. Or he can just be under the table giving us uh, handy various um, pleasures. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, you can bring your laptop and still like do that. The Sif game is awesome. <laughs> yeah. You love this? Oh, dude, suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That's not an innuendo anymore. Oh, sorry. I didn't, Craig, Craig no, no, no. It's okay. Keep playing with my tape. Wait, wait about <laughs> 20 more minutes. <laughs> uh, we could totally do that, though. <laughs> wait, wait, which part? <laughs> nah, not the taint part. Are you, um, that's uh, three hour drive to go get that thing. It's only it only actually takes about an hour and fifteen. Dude, it to is get not there. worth it. Driving at nine not miles an it. hour. It's okay. I, it's I think totally, it is. Here's what I think. He needs the Joe flesh to to slip. My uh, my tax return is going to come in, and one of my goals for this year was to get a computer. Uh, a nice laptop where I can dump basically the rest of my electronic equipment that I don't need anymore and uh, just have the laptop as kind of my center hub for everything. So I got to get rid of my desktop computer. It's multiple multiple monitors, whatever video game consoles I'm not using for UFF. Uh, I'm also going to get rid of. And, um, and so like that's that's my goal so when my tax return comes in i say that we use our nude clan gracious powers to decide that civilization six is a next review Uh, Uh, i don't know we put that up for vote already for the the new game yeah but you don't understand there's a ton of new games joe People are totally going to pick God of War 4 over Hold Civ 6. Well, that's six. because they can get a copy of it. They couldn't get Civ 6. It's impossible. It's going to be on Steam. Well, we can buy a game on I don't Steam. know if that's whoa, 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 why people whoa, whoa, are voting or not, but I'm not saying that it's part of the schedule. I'm saying we just make it a part of the schedule. Oh, okay. I got you. I'm saying we say... Well, it's just like our separate it. review. I want to I play goddamn Joe, Civ 6. The problem is... I want you Caleb guys and to I play Civ 6. We can if we you make it part of the show. if you make it a review. If we say... So if, if, we we are, if we decide... Review, yeah. that the the schedule the will be broken. of... Uh, no, it'll of be the for schedule the show. That, we, that we're going to do. Be we, dude, it'll be for the show, but as one of those extra reviews. We abuse the schedule... As it is, <laughs> we're weeks off of what the schedule should be because of delays. Yeah, yeah there's a few delays here. Yeah, recently. so uh, it's we could just work that in as another Uber game review. Good. Potentially, even before Joe and I have to do this. How about scenario. how about this? We do an Uber game review. We nominate Civ Six, Civ Six, Civ Six, or. Civ five. Civ five. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't then know. They pick Civ five. It's like, ah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'd be cool with that. What well, do you know about? I don't know if the fans would be cool about that. About us playing Civ six. Well, let's see what they say. Let's oh. see if they're outspoken <laughs> about what? <laughs> about what they want us to do. Well, well, we could just do it outside. You know, make it an extra. If we thing. do it, if we do it as an extra thing, I don't see any problem. But we're gonna do it as a review. Just an extra. And they, they don't get it, man. They don't get. It. We only me and you have uh, have overthrown the the order and said we're just playing Diablo. And since <laughs> since they are the listeners and not the content providers, um, we do have a certain level of power above <laughs> above them. Oh well, yeah, that's why we. This is. A, I'm thing. saying that that you won't be tribunaled if we decide. All right. That Can my laptop run Civ Six? No, I, I think don't you're know. Gonna have dude. to buy one of our gaming computers. I'm gonna buy Caleb's gaming computer. Find out what's wrong with it. 
Yeah, but mine doesn't have Actually, it reverse the order. It. Find out what's wrong with <laughs> it, and then buy his gaming computer. <laughs> no, All right. no, reverse that order. Okay. No, no, the other one. Then, uh, <laughs> buy Joe's, and then tell Caleb to fuck off. Just yeah, but Joe's would be better. able to run it. Caleb is, Caleb's computer is I've looked at the minimum stats for the, uh, the game, and Joe's computer would not be able and to I th- run And if it. I wanted to start upgrading Six, one, his would be yeah. easier to start upgrading. He's only got like a one gig uh, mem- um, graphics card in there. That's not going to be able to cut it for Civ Six. Uh, the graphics look? card is the thing that needs to be updated. What what processor you have in there? I don't know something. Yeah. That's a glowing it's like review. Half as powerful as mine. Exactly. He's got the same yeah. one that I used to but have. You know what the difference which was is? Fucking amazing. You know what the difference is? My computer works. Video right. card one gig. But I think I could get his to work. If it's just the video card that he's lacking on, he should be able to run Civ Six. Mm, maybe. Oh, well, yeah. it says. How much are you selling me yours for? Well, if I want to go the, for yours, how much is he selling his? I'm not done to tell you. Minimum requirements. It might not run well, but uh, it will run yeah. for the tower. Yeah, just the tower. Just the tower. Yeah. So we have. The do we have a review? Okay, how much for new? Uh, for the show? Yes, for the show. Yeah, we do. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, this is a review from Orioles fan to 2099. I used to be an Orioles fan, and then I realized that baseball sucks. It's a five star <laughs> review. Oh, so as, as a shit. listener, <laughs> don't say shit like that. As a listener of they a bunch, get crazy man. Orioles fans, no, no, just, just sports fans. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. As a listener of a bunch of video game podcasts, I have a hard time finding unique content. Nude Clan definitely fills that role. These guys oh, talk about new games, retro new games, content. video games, movie, video game movies, and whatever else they want to discuss, all in a hilarious manner. Highly recommended. Be sure to also check out their other work, including Ultima Final Fantasy, the ultimate Final Fantasy podcast. Final Fantasy podcast. Oh. Thank you very much, Orioles fan twenty ninety nine. Yeah, you're Thank now you in the so running to win the ultimate a movie. review on Nude Clan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! Do we got another question? Or are we uh, are we gonna play this game? Um, we do have a quick question from Dylan. If you guys want to answer it, yeah, let's All answer right. it. He said, "I was curious to see what you guys think God about possible." It. Can't he just po- can't he just text us? Like, what? <laughs> yeah. what is this shit? All right. Well, he's he's doing it for he the show. He wants his words All to right. be heard. All yeah, right. he's doing it in the through the proper channels. I was curious to see what you guys think about the possible reboots of Nintendo franchises on the Switch. I know that none of you, except Craig, have extensive experience with Nintendo games, but if you could choose to reboot one franchise from Nintendo, what would it be and why? Well, Nintendo doesn't do franchises like other people do. There aren't exactly sequels when they do a new Super Mario Bros. They're just like... It's just it's another just a game. new Super Mario Bros. It's like the same idea, just on a new system. Well, I think he means like one of the games that they haven't really paid much attention to. Yeah, like, a reboot. Like uh, uh, Metroid Fox. or Star Fox <laughs> or anything yeah. like that, yeah. I, when he did the poll, I did Metroid, but it's not a reboot, really. It's just a Metroid game. It would be cool on Switch. Mm. Conquer's yeah, Bad I would agree. Conker's Bad for a Day. Metroid that's, is something that I want to see more of. Nintendo. Well, it's... It was on Nintendo 64. So. Yeah. Yeah, Microsoft bought Rare, didn't they? Yes. Microsoft has Rare. Yeah. In fact, the uh, they came out with the Rare collection that has that on there, I'm pretty sure. Well, what do you think, Craig? For what I would pick? Yeah. Uh, probably Metroid. I would like to see a new Metroid come out because there hasn't been one since, like, the Wii. So I, I feel like... Tanked. Yeah. Yeah, and it was, yeah did not do well. I feel like I speak for everybody when I say Nintendogs would be a good... Uh, <laughs> Reboot Nintendogs. Reboot Nintendogs for the Switch. And that way when you're taking out your real dog, you can take out your Nintendog as well. You can shit in pixels and in real life. <laughs> and you can name them the same thing and they're like the same dog and they have the same habit. So like when the Nintendog needs to go, you're like, oh, my actual dog needs to go now because it's in, they're running on the same cycle. It's like a way of playing a video game while also taking care of the man's best friend. Dog chip. You got to go to like a a GameStop and they inject yeah, your dog yeah, with you like go. a chip that reads. Yeah, it's, it's, so your thoughts. Nintendo yeah. is the same. Uh, do, 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 do. Read your dog's thoughts. Yeah. <laughs> and then it, uh, <laughs> I want to lick peanut butter off your balls. <laughs> Where's that jar? 
Oh, oh my God. Uh, and then we get uh, and then we get Nintendo Switch Sims, and you can implant chips into your family members as well, so that like you know how they're feeling about you. Uh, I feel like You're this like, is a propaganda for me. Like, oh, so uh, relationship it's is just a, a flu shot. It's a flu shot at the GameStop. <laughs> yeah, a relationship is at sixty right now. Uh, what's going on? Why is the well, who's that other guy over there that's got a ninety? What the fuck is that? Huh? <laughs> what's uh, what's the deal here? Oh wow, yeah. yeah. That's exactly where choice goes with that. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> spying. You try to uh, implant us with the same chip just to kind of find out who likes him best. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, how would I thinking about starting another podcast? With you sit down and just zero yeah. percent on all of. Do you us. want to try to do this without me? What the hell? Well, that wouldn't be necessarily um, uh, very. I don't know. It wouldn't be a good a good thing necessarily because you could like me at a ninety nine, and camera could like me at a ninety nine, but that could mean very different things. Because if your next place is like forty, and like- camera is like an eighty, maybe he just likes people more. Yeah, that's gross. so we would have to. I like how he assumes that we both like him 99. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably really I like, like him 40. 69. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. That'd be hard to... Hard to say. It would be better to see who likes who at what level. And that way you can just be like, oh, reigning champion. This is champion. a bizarre at, at what yeah. level? What do you mean at what <laughs> well, level? Well, I mean, like, we would look at, we would look at uh, Craig. We'd have Craig's character pulled up and, like, look in his relationship bar and see where we all sat and then, like, do a uh, amalgamation of the averages and then, like, oh, I'm an 80 throughout the other hosts. And then, oh, I'm a 60 and I'm a blah, blah, blah. That's the only way we could truly find out who is the most loved by all. <laughs> Why is everything a contest? Okay. I, well, I didn't make Every it. Every single thing we do is a goddamn contest. Hey, you're part of that other. too, man. You try to make things a contest as well. Shut not up, just man. Caleb. Fight night, fight night, fight night. <laughs> I've That's said. between you and Schweiss. Yeah, it yeah. is between you and Schweiss. I'm waiting yeah. for that still. Yeah. Oh, we, we totally be fun want to, to watch. do the whole thing where we have our intros. We're sitting there with our stats on yeah. the screen. Yeah. <laughs> And then we go. We have a, then we have a real ref at the gym, and we just go for it. Give him the oh gym. no, we gotta have me and Joe commentate on the fight too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really quietly too, like it's a golf match. No, 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 like like, like, it, like it's all right, Joe. Uh, who like do you think is the favorite to win this match? Caleb pulls the red. Like it's an MMA <laughs> match. That's what it should be. That's what it should be like. Except I'm not taking my shirt off on stage. Yeah, you can if you want. Why not, Kim? Kim? Ah. I'm not doing it. This is right. right. I'll just choke you out with your own shirt. <laughs> you, it's <laughs> like holding it behind his throat. I uh, tested Caleb the other way to see how likely I can just do the fucking like He Man throw. Just, just what, Cameron, <laughs> on this podcast? <laughs> You know, just this, do, the, uh, do the pick him up in the air and twist him around and slam him against the ground. Uh, I thought about putting my knee in there, but I want to break his back, yeah. Bane style. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't you know, want to make him uh, become Batman and come back for you, <laughs> Cameron. You can't do visual stuff I on know. a podcast. That was for the people who paid. <laughs> Yeah, uh, for the people God. watching the Twitch, I just I just put my hands above my head and did a little spin, pretending I was holding, pretending him. he was capable of picking me up oh, yeah. in some world where I wouldn't stop that, and holding him <laughs> like a pair of plates. <laughs> so there's another way to support the show. It's called Patreon. Patreon. Yeah, yeah. You can click on our Patreon link on our website, and uh, just so you know, for those who are our Patreon uh, donors, there is a special. Jurassic Park commentary, and there will be a Jurassic Park The Lost World commentary up today. Uh, yeah. uh, if you want to check that out, it's it's for yours I for think, the taking. I think The Lost World is going to be especially funny with Mr. Clean in it, but yeah, mm-hmm. I was especially drunk. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> yeah, we all, speaking of Patreon, thank you, Laliana Goze, for your recent pledge. We really appreciate it. And you're going to be in the running for the game giveaway, and since I didn't put my poll up last week on my <laughs> guilty or innocence of uh, some crime that one of you fucks you know, the polls are to. up. Yeah, both polls are up. Yeah, there was a third. There was a third. There was another. Yes. No, 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 no. So how uh, about you was. buying the game? Because you already admitted guilt. You, you admitted guilt, and you've already told everyone you're going to give the game. That was said and done. No, we had there was no a, poll necessary. There the was poll a that poll. you put up there was for whether or not you have to do your photo shoot. There was a poll that was supposed to go up for the, the game. The poll up there is for your photo for, shoot. The game is already said and done. You said I'm going to give away. My yeah, last you already Guardian said you were going to give away. And last I Guardian. said and done. I you thought we were going to do a poll for a that. Though. No, you just said fuck no. it. I'll just give it away. Yeah. 
That's why we didn't do a poll because oh, we already, yeah. 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 That was at the beginning of the episode. I re listened to it last night. Oh, all right. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> it's going to be in there then. It's not necessarily what they'll choose, but. Yeah, it's probably what they'll choose. <clears throat> Maybe. It depends on who wins. If they already own the game, why would they pick it? I guess that's true. Yeah, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are we going to look at those polls now? or No. Nope. Right. No, we'll look at it at the end. Let's get to the Metacritic game. All right. All right, guys. So we're going to be playing the Metacritic game. All right. 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 And according so, to the rules all right. of... Uh, all right. So according to... All right. All right. All right. All right. We got it. All right. All right. All right. Now fucking shut up. <laughs> all right. Tell us the rules of Joe's game that we played a few weeks ago. Uh, okay, so I'm going to pick a um, genre of, uh, of video games, and then I'm going to give you the uh, the Metacritic score and uh, what year it was released, and um, then you guys have to uh, guess uh, whether or not you can get it in um, one uh, developer, two developers, whatever, and then uh, how many reviews. Okay. All right, you guys remember the rules? And he reads the reviews yeah. without saying the name of the game. Yeah. I don't know about that, but yeah, we'll see. Okay. Right. So this first one, and uh, the genre is shooters. So oh, mm. shit. Yeah, good luck, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Cam Cam thinks he has a leg up, but uh, <laughs> all, right. all right. So the score um, only has a user score of uh, 8.4. Huh. Only? Yeah. Okay. No Metacritic score? And uh, no, it doesn't have a Metacritic score. Oh. Um, uh, what platform? It is on PC. Okay. Yeah. I know what it is. What year? And uh, it came out in 1997. I know what it is. <sighs> Wheel of Time game. No. Nope. Oh, yeah. Fuck! Am okay, I out? You got, no, that's not how you play the game, you, man. You, you, you gotta don't. You gotta do the guessing stuff. Yeah. Dude. And All right. It starts clockwise. <laughs> All right. And then the, uh, the summary for the game is blank is pretty fun despite its dated qualities. That's the only description it has. <laughs> From 97 and it was, it had dated I qualities. Think I know. Okay. This is a game we know. It should be. Okay. Le- I know that Caleb knows it. I know what it is. 97. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm Cam Cam. I can no guess uh, in... How many reviews are there? One, total? Yeah, how many there reviews are there? Four. I four can reviews guess and one developer. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So I can guess it in <clears throat> one developer and two reviews. All right, Caleb. One developer and three reviews. No, you have to yeah, go, go lower. lower. One developer and one review. Yeah. Name that movie or name that game. <laughs> <laughs> right, Joe's telling you to prove it, Caleb. All right, prove it, so the uh, the developer is 3D Realms, mm. and yes, uh, the, the, the beloved and 3D Realms. <laughs> and your and your review is uh, being I originally got this game because it came in a pack with Duke Nukem Atomic Edition. I tried it out. Uh, funny <laughs> enough, the crazy gameplay and weapons you get uh, in this game is awesome. I love it and still play it to this day. Shadow Warrior. Yep. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> I was, was like, crazy weapons? 97? Right. It was Shadow Warrior. No wow. critic reviews? <laughs> <laughs> it was the a pretty... Right. It was a pretty... <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty old game. I've so. never heard of that game, so... Uh, yeah, I have totally played it. It's awesome. All right. Uh, what is this out of? Uh, I have five of them up, so... Uh, whoever so gets the whatever, most. whatever we get, okay. <laughs> yeah, whoever whoever gets the most wins. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this next one was uh, released in 2017. It's oh a new shit! One. Um, it is on all systems: PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. 2017 release. Yep, and has a Metacritic score of 79 and a user score of 6.6. And um, it is set in the aftermath of its award-winning predecessor, uh, continues in the series of uh, World War II heritage by transporting players across beautiful Italian peninsula um, from sun-drenched Mediterranean coastal towns to a Nazi megastructures and daunting forests. All right. It starts with Cameron. Uh, you, weren't, you weren't in the game last time. Yeah. 
it was just between Joe and Cam- and uh, Caleb. Okay, so I can guess in two developers, two reviews. Hold on, it's got one developer and <laughs> twenty three reviews. Okay, I, I can do it in one developer Don't and two reviews. Twenty three. Okay. <laughs> and how many <laughs> reviews? Two. Okay. Um. Uh, this game is <laughs> um, I can do it in the same. Do I have to go lower? Yeah. 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 You have to, you have to go lower, lower or you got to say name it. So you can make me try to guess it and what I've said I w- can guess it in or you'd go lower and then Joe makes you try to guess it again. <laughs> name it. All right. Okay. So the developer is Rebellion. And the first review is with gameplay that can shock, amuse, and satisfy the same <laughs> slowed heartbeat. Uh, Blank is the best game in the series. With uh, while graphics and story and characters can feel a little flat, the gameplay has always been focused and is so perfectly tuned to make the rest seem inconsequential. Um, Next one is Rebellion Development took the groundwork laid down by Blink and is improved upon nearly every aspect. Its large-scale environments feature an intelligent layout of objectives and abundance of uh, sniper-aiding ver... ver-, ver- Doesn't matter. Or whatever. <laughs> uh, while Blink's music in story aren't uh, going to win any awards, they aren't enough to take... Uh, to take away from the respectable amount of content, the addictive strategy-based gameplay. Mm, addictive I strategy. I thought you said it was a shooter. Is, it is, it a, is shooter. a shooter. Is okay. it? Uh, is it Sniper Elite Three? No. Oh. It's Sniper oh. Elite Four. Oh! oh. <laughs> we got to have some amended. Caleb gets another point. Some amended rules to where we can like jump in and name it. Over the person. So you're challenging. You yeah, but you're right. challenging it, them to. That's the whole thing. You right. challenged him, meaning that you, you shouldn't be able. You got to be able to read the other person, see if they're bluffing or not. But as it sits, though, you game. don't even get a chance. You just have to. Sit no, there not like on a that bitch. round, but on the next you, round, you could have. Sure. You could have uh, taken the guess instead of him. I'm not gonna. Of I don't know what the fuck it is. All right, that's the game. That's so well, now, you, now who starts? Who starts this time? I start. Yeah. Okay. Because Joe wasn't in the game. Okay. So now Joe gets to go. Now, this one was released September 20th in 2011. Uh, it has a Metacritic score of 91 and a user score of 7.8. And uh, has one developer and 96 reviews. Okay, you can't read all 96, so it's, it's what's on the first page. I'm telling you that right now. Okay, and then the summary is developed to be uh, by an acclaimed studio... E- uh, and uh, available only on Xbox 360, uh, Blank plunges players into a harrowing tale of hope, survival, and brotherhood that can uh, that will conclude the current story arc. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, fuck. I think I know what it is. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Conclude a story arc, and it's about brotherhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one developer and, and, and um, five reviews. <laughs> oh, wow. So now, do it's you? you. Oh, it's me? Yeah, clockwise. I can do it in one developer. No, you know what? Name that game. Damn it. I was going to I I undercut you. What's the developer? I don't okay, want, the developer you, you is Epic <laughs> Games. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. And how many reviews did you say? I said five, motherfucker. All right. <laughs> the narrative setting is nearly as potent as the gameplay. Uh, Horde 2.0 is the best multiplayer experience going right now, and Beast Mode isn't far behind. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Are you serious? <laughs> Come on. Blink leaves the Xbox 360 with an enormous and well-told adventure that uh, exceeds all expectations, a lot of online modes. Great Horde 2.0 and all the gameplay and character uh, that characterizes the journeys of Blank. Magnificent. Uh, few games offer as much as Blank, and even fewer manage to do it successfully. Well, this uh, this is quite easily the best Blank yet. Uh, weaving excellent oh, core mechanics together and with the renewed perception of an mm. ever-maturing developer. Uh, once again, Epic has uh, successfully 
Um, you need to work on your reading. Iterated on, I know. <laughs> and on ir, ir, <laughs> iterated on the series that uh, most other developers uh, still desperately try to imitate. Uh, so, I have a song playing over and over. Right that wasn't right five now. reviews, was, was it? Four? I, how many was it? It was five. Oh, was it five. really? Oh wow, I zoned out. The first one. Was well, because yeah, we kept going <laughs> in our head because we, we know what the game is. Yeah. Fuck you guys, man. Have I played this? No, but you know of something that should have been involved with one of the games and wasn't. Oh, don't give them that much of a hint. Should have been involved with one uh, of the games. But don't do it, dude. Yeah. I have it. I have it. It's a shooter. Yes. Is it a first-person shooter? Or is it just? Shooters? Is that a question that it's he can shooter. answer? Okay. I don't think so, yeah. <clears throat> it's a shooter. I, oh man, it'd be awesome if we could steal it. I know. But I you would... still get a point, so. Yeah. Um, dude. 2011? Just, just remember, it was wrapping up. Just, uh, but don't stop helping I'm me. trying to remember where I was in 2011, which was in that fucking apartment not having an Xbox 360. That's where I was. Yeah, he was playing a okay, PS1. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give him I'm going to give him a hint. Should oh, I... what? You yell at me for no, I Dude, can't. you're the one that gets the point if he doesn't get it. I can't name it. I can't name it. I can't. No. Name it. It was hey, Halo 4. <laughs> it's Gears of War 3. Yeah. Gears of Okay. I kept, that's why I, I never have done it. Gears of War. Didn't yeah, it was Megadeth. Gears of War, the Gears of War song I was hinting at. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think of the reviews like Horde Mode, Horde Mode 2.0. Yeah. I've never played Gears of War. Horde Mode is awesome. Never played Gears of War. How would I know what Horde Mode is? I don't know. I'm you surprised don't. you didn't just try to go for the gas campaign. I you should have. You would have. I mean, either way, you get the either point. way. Yeah, but unless Joe was bluffing his lack of knowledge and then just punked you. <laughs> Whole new layer. Okay, this next one is uh, 2005. Okay, uh, Good PlayStation year. Two. Has a Metacritic score of 73 and a user score of 7.8. Okay, decent. And uh, has uh, one developer and uh, 31 reviews. If I just guess it straight out based on its score, can I just win? If uh, somebody tells you to name the game. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. uh, So... Uh, all right, and so uh, Blink gamers play as uh, U.S. Army lieutenant uh, as a U.S. Army lieutenant, uh, pa- hand packed, uh, hand picked. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> by uh, <laughs> William Today, Donovan Junior? to be the first field agent of the newly formed Office of Strategic Services. <sighs> All right, uh, it's me, Caleb. Five, two thousand five. You said. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's go in there. How many developers are there? One. One. I'll do one developer and five reviews. Okay. Joe? (laughs) (laughs) You like that? Uh, Fuck! This was only on the PlayStation 2, or this is just the PlayStation 2 version on Metacritic? It says only PlayStation 2. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Oh, fuck. Name that game. No! You're supposed to, like, wait and <laughs> No, I'm not letting so you get make... another point. No, but he's ahead. Is why. <laughs> God, okay. fucking damn it. The developer is EALA. Okay. And the first review is carnage 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 that's what you get when you open a box and when you open the box blank it may not be the most challenging game in the series but it's certainly the most brutal um the non-linear design careful difficulty ramp and outstanding presentation bring this game above the pack and hey at least it doesn't have an omaha beach level uh the one major area where blank fails is to deliver on the multiplayer side of things. <laughs> All right. Can you name it? Oh, no. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, you don't have to wait for <laughs> it. Well, the there shower. are plenty of cool game types uh, from old standards like Deathmatch to some interesting objective-based games. The only way you can play with friends is on a single TV. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was maddening to yep. nearly finish a mission and then die and have to start over. There are no checkpoints, but that's the part of this game's challenge. 
uh, with blank EA promised to fix all the errors <sighs> of blank and invent uh, reinvent the genre as a whole. A bit surprisingly, the game does almost all of this, but for the first time in the series, the technical limits of the current console platforms negatively affect the gameplay. Medal of Honor, European Assault. Yep. Oh my, oh my god, I, I thought that might be what it is <laughs> yep. when he soon, started, and I was like... As soon as you looked at me twice, I'm like, nah. yeah, fuck, I know what this game is. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was thinking, like, it's gonna be a Medal of Honor game because they're talking about reinventing, but then when they started talking about actually succeeding, I was like, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right. Frontline was a we much better single-player game. We need, to, we need to fucking play that multiplayer game with the fucking, like, insane snap your back in half as you lean around corners. Yeah, <laughs> it's addicting. It's incredible. <laughs> All right. So this last one is uh, another 2011. It was on PC, Xbox, 360, and PlayStation 3. Um, has a Metacritic score of 83 and the user score of 7.7. And it has two developers and 52 reviews. Um, Cameron was the one out of game. Go ahead. I can do it. And one developer, three reviews. One developer, two reviews. Damn it. <sighs> oh, man. If it was on every platform, I should know. One developer, one review. Damn. So you can go w- one review or one developer. Or just or call name that game. Name that game. Okay. Because now the point is between you or I, and he's not up another point. Okay. That would be pretty Blank uh, array of distinct... Sk- oh, wait. No. Hold on. Okay. Uh, forget your preconceptions of blank as a foul mouth big dumb action game uh, an intelligent nuanced design with fathoms of depth which marks <laughs> uh, shut up when which marks fathoms a, become a four syllable word do we need to have the phonetics uh, out for fathoms, fathoms. <laughs> shut yeah, up. okay yeah. which marks a return to the importance of a player's creativity in shooters and simultaneously evolves the concept of interactivity in the FPS world, and with two cleverly complementary secondary modes, it has uh, it will have serious legs for a good long time. Wild come, uh, it was <laughs> wild it, come. Yeah, it was a very weirdly written thing. Okay, okay. and <laughs> we're, we're sure we believe you. And the developer is Epic Games. And what year was it again? Two thousand eleven. Two thousand eleven. Oh fuck. Is it a game I know? It I'm should sure be. We all know this game. Caleb. Oh fuck! I think you all know this game. I don't think any of you have played it. But I think I might. You said it's PS3. It's oh, on all of platforms. them. I I do think I know what it is. Um, doesn't matter though because I'm out. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh fuck! What is it, Joe? <laughs> Foul mouthed. What is? Foul mouthed. Yeah. Foul mouthed game. What is it good for? And what were the what was the rating on it? Uh, eighty three, Metacritic score. A foul mouth wow. game. Wow. You know, I think I know what it is actually. Fuck. I don't know if I do actually. No, I think I know what it is, and I think I've watched. Caleb is play it foul mouth, Caleb Craig? I have never played it. Oh shit. Uh, oh shit. Caleb Craig has never played it. Then the only one of us that I know has played it is Code, and that's it. Oh shit! Oh, I I do know what it is. Oh shit! What the fuck is it? God, <laughs> <laughs> shooters is that brutal? brutal topic. Uh, foul mouth <laughs> shooter. Oh no! Oh, I have oh, a couple ra- rolling around in my head. Oh my mm, god. I'm not sure which one it would oh be. Oh my though. god. Just spit out a title. <laughs> I can't, man. I like fucking ca- I spit can't give Caleb another fucking point. No, it's so uh, it's, it's, it's going to Caleb. Oh, it's me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's why oh, I shit. did that. So I feel less bad. But because yeah. But yeah, it's okay to give Cameron a point. Because it prevents him from getting the winning point. Um well, I already have. The- <laughs> yeah, already have the- <laughs> he's uh, he's um, already winning. I only had the five games. But four would be brutal out of five. It would be a shame. Gun 2. 
No, it was Damn Bullet it. Storm. Bullet Storm. Oh, oh, fuck, I own that game. Dude. Do you really? <laughs> I've never played it. I own it. Was that one of the I, ones I you got as a I gift? Wa- I thought I watched yeah. you play Bullet Storm. I have never played Bullet Storm. I have watched Bullet someone Storm. play Bullet Storm. Oh it's probably God. Scode. He's the only one that I know has played it. I don't uh, know. Is there a gun too, or is there only gun? <laughs> I don't think there is. I think gun two is just Red Dead Redemption. Oh. <laughs> All right, Cameron. There might have been point. a gun too. So I have zero points. Uh, Cameron had two points, and then Caleb Schweiss won. What's my prize? Big three boy? points. You get a blowjob later <laughs> from Joe. Oh, oh. oh. oh well, it was a good blowjob from the loser. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, now we're wow. gonna play the uh, oh, the yeah. meta score Got game. It. This is the one I prefer. I prefer guessing the critical score of something because I like obsess and I remember what i see from things like movies on rotten tomatoes i know i know what a lot of movies ratings are interstellar okay interstellar i think is like an 86 let's do one that just barely came out let's do horizon zero dawn oh my god dude can't be on your phone man not during this game oh i'm looking up interstellar so so what are you looking up interstellar interstellar because he wants to see if he's right because he said it had an 86 percent on rotten tomatoes 71. No. Oh. <laughs> 85 for Dude, uh, Flix. I too, remember though. these things. All right, maybe I don't. Okay. okay. What is the Metacritic score for? What are we? What is this? Do we, do we just Donald. like, do we go? Like, we all. Oh, wait. Yeah. We go till Caleb Craig is done and we, we add up the scores and see who has. But the how, do, how do we like, if we have an idea, do we like you know, just me no, no, no. or shout it out? No, you, all we do is go around. Yeah. You oh, just guess. Guess what it's going to be. Okay. I got it. Okay. Okay. And then how far off we are. Right. Is how many. Yeah. yeah. How many points we get. Yeah. So how, uh, what? Five games. Let's just do five. Let's do five. Yeah, All right. Let's do five. That's what they do on uh, on the other show. Okay. <laughs> we'll do five since I did five for the other okay. game. Okay. All right. Horizon Zero Dawn just barely came out. Just barely came out. What are we? Or we're actually, it's coming out in three days. But it has a meta. But it has score? a score. Fucking has anybody looked up this game at all? Um, I know what it is. No, it's I that know. one with the uh, the robots where you have the bow. And Robot you're animals. Chick. Oh, okay, no, it's that open yeah. worldish so game. That feels like that's going to be a eighty nine percent, ninety five. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go eighty six. Cameron is the closest. It was eighty eight. Nice. Oh, so I okay. just get one point. What did Cameron guess? Eighty nine. 89. And Caleb, what'd you guess? 95. 95. And it was an 88? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Getting pretty good. Okay, what's the next one? All right, let's do Dragon Quest Eight. Oh, God. Okay, so this is a pretty popular game. Yeah. Uh, recently had a remake for the uh, 3DS. We're not talking about remake, though, are we? No. I think they might have the same score. Uh, they don't. They don't. That's Metacritic's not how Metacritic does it. S- slips it up. So which version of the game are you seeing right yeah. now? Uh, let's do the PlayStation 2 version. Okay, okay, PlayStation good. 2 version. All right, whoever won gets to vote first. <laughs> let's see. So Cameron first. I'm going to say an 85%. Cameron's going to go 85 Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to go 90. Caleb's going to go 90. Uh, you do have a score for the PS2 version, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, you're still scrolling around, so I'm scared of what you're doing over there. Uh, it's finding a way to rig it for me. Fuck, man. Was this game like seen as a perfect game, or was it just a big Dragon Quest game? So I'm thinking... Big, dumb Dragon Quest game. Gonna, I'm going to go with an 82. I'm going to go the opposite direction. All right, Gregors. It was an 89. So 89? Oh, my God. Yeah. It was one off. By the way, it's a five-point deduction if you're directly on it. If you're directly on it, yeah, really, really? Yeah. yeah, you want it's golf. You want to have the least amount of points. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so it's good to have a five point deduction. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, the old boob reduction. Mm. Caleb needs one of those. <laughs> what? <laughs> I said Caleb needs one of those. <laughs> a bra- what? A boob, a boob reduction. Boob reduction? Yeah. yeah. That's the official title. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do another new one. Let's do Neo, which just came out on the seventh. Is it the Matrix Path of Neo? It's, no, it's <laughs> uh, it's that one that's like Dark Souls, where you're the samurai. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, well, I haven't heard very much about this game at all. I'll say 85. 85? 85? Yep. 85. Okay. I don't know anything about these fucking games. <laughs> fucking pick a game that we fucking played so that we can talk about it. Okay, hey, Caleb, was, um, there, was there much hype building 80, up to this game? 86. Uh, there's, there's been a bit. What a douche. 86. <laughs> I'm going to go 80. 80? Okay. It was 87. Uh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, that sounds done, Schweiss. That yeah. Sounds fucking done. <laughs> I don't know anything about that game. All right, now let's do Civ Five. Oh, oh, this is a game we've all played. We should oh. all kind of know what it is. <laughs> all right, what's it? Uh, <laughs> what is it, Joe? I'm going eighty-one. Eighty-one. I'm going to do a ninety-five. Ninety-five. Ninety-four. Ninety-four. I it's think it ninety was a- exactly. Oh. oh. That's it? Yep. Dude. <laughs> That's it. Well, look, I don't think it's a flawless game. No. Do you think of Civ Five is a flawless game? We talk about it all the time because we love playing it. I think it's one of the best games I've ever played, but flawless, really? maybe not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's way more fun than it. I have 210 hours in it. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Well, that's just a couple of games, though. Yeah. <laughs> that's at least two full games <laughs> beginning to end. Mm. See, I don't I, think it's flawless, though. There are updates, and when they come out with an update on some of those patches, I was like, holy mm-hmm. shit, this new version is awesome. See, I'm surprised with the 90, frankly. Like, that seems, like, way high for it. Well, Civ 6, I looked at it with it, and Civ 6 is 88. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. So Civ 5 is better. According, according to Metacritic. Metacritic. According to Metacritic. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. We can still play Civ 6. All right. The last game is Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. <sighs> Caleb. This is generally known by most people to be a nearly perfect game. But I'm does gonna, that mean that it's meta? I'm going to go 95. 95. Okay. I'm going to go 94. 96. It is 91. Oh, oh. I felt like that was too high. <laughs> I really did. <laughs> But I was stupid. So Joe wins that one for 94? Uh, I did win that one. Um, I got to do some some math. Here. Well, some math going to take a little while. Three, um, four, five on the first one. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah? Is it? No, no, on the last one, actually. Oh, on the last one? Yep. Okay. Keep talking. Do some stuff, yeah, Craig. fucking say uh, something, you showman. All right. Well, that was, uh, uh, yeah. that was a good game, you guys. Uh looks like caleb won the the first game uh, <laughs> i don't know what to fucking say right now you guys one two seven one two seven for the next Just gotta do maths yeah, why do you man. why do you have to add it up seven one four what? It's his golf score caleb because you gotta do the golf score two seven you can't just one. do who won each round no no because it's a, it's out of a I total. Have it's, like, it's, it's like it's like five okay. holes, and so gotcha. you're totally you have twenty two of the five holes. Yeah, I got you. All right, Cameron has twenty two. Oh my god! Okay, so All me right. and Cameron. Oh no! Shit! Wait, I might mine. Sorry, show Seven, Caleb the paper. Ten, twenty. I have twenty. Oh, you have twenty. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure Ooh. about these? Okay. Uh, if I read your writing right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, in last place, me and Cameron are tied with 22 points. And then Caleb with 20 points is the winner. Wow. Well, Caleb won, Caleb both, won games. both fucking games. It's I like a am, repeat uh, of uh, Thursday night. Why? Well, what age, happened Thursday? Age of Empires 2 and uh, Civ 5. Oh, oh okay. Uh. <laughs> nah, no thanks to you, Nuke, and my innocent people. I, anyway. I did what I had to do, man. You were going to win science, and I didn't want that to happen. Nobody yeah. else fucking tried to do anything to stop you. Well, it's funny. Well, I thought you were starting with uh, with culture the other night. Was that a different game? I wasn't doing culture. You were never doing culture? No. I, I was really. about to win both science and culture in that game. It fucking pissed me yeah, off. Yeah, Caleb really caught up. My production wasn't very high, so my uh, building of the spaceship parts was not the best. Yeah. I built. Uh, I did uh, future tech like twice, so that was nice, but I wasn't able to... Uh, cap it off as quickly as I wanted to because 
my fucking town got nuked. Yeah, as soon as he started building like the spaceship parts, I was like, oh, I gotta nuke this fucking bastard. <laughs> and uh, none of us had uranium, and I barely had a spot of uranium in the bottom of my uh, bottom of my country. So I yeah. had to like go pick that up. I know. And then Caleb was getting his from like a city state, so I like blew up their uranium mine. So that he couldn't use it against me. Ah, uh, dude, I want to be able to play those fucking games again. Like I told you, the resolution. It's if you you honestly want to take a three hour drive to go get a computer to play that game for what the two hours that you're actually going to be awake. <laughs> we could do that, or Caleb, you have your computer. You'll pass the fuck out real quick. You have a computer and you have your laptop, right? I didn't bring my laptop. I know, but your computer, how is it? Is it functioning at all? Does it work? Yeah, uh, it's been overheating. I'm not 100% sure what's going on. What's overheating? Is it the processor? The, I, 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 I had know. problems with overheating. I put new gel on the processor. I did that too, where. but you it hasn't fixed it. Yeah. Huh. Damn it. I'm going to take you down on Monday to get it looked at. So. Oh, are you going to buy it then? Yeah, that's the plan. So why why are you selling it, Craig? I just need to. That's, Do you need to? Yeah. You well, he hasn't used cocaine it. Cocaine money. In his and I haven't used it yeah. in like forever. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, you haven't used it because it hasn't been working. Well, I haven't used it bef- it's when it was working <laughs> either. <laughs> well, you should be. Flash. There's so many good games on PC. It's true. And now you're just doing your fucking laptop. I can play. Is... Well, I can play most of them on my laptop. Most, Caleb. It's most. not like your laptop is never uh, <laughs> overheated. Yeah. we this, all... this new one hasn't. <laughs> We oh, you have a new laptop? Yeah. I bought one like two years ago. <sighs> My other one like crapped out on me. Yeah, I remember, remember that, yeah. It like wouldn't turn on anymore, All so I we... had to get another one. Oh. We remember the days of the heat rack. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> fuck, I had to. Lol just like so decimated fucking, my last a fucking laptop. baker's rack for our goddamn laptops. Like, so <laughs> yeah. Bad. Why not just get like... Like one of those cold packs, and then sit your laptop on top of the cold pack. Yeah, that'll last. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> water that comes off <laughs> no, of no, that no, no. would get not one, get one of those. Uh, you don't have that many condensation, so you wrap it up in something, and then sit your laptop on top of it. Yeah, yeah, it's genius. It is. Or you could just use a <laughs> cooling rack, or you yeah. could just get a computer. A PC that works and not have to worry about it. <laughs> or get a PC that does the same exact shit. Yeah. Maybe I just need to invest into some water cooling for it. Maybe. For it's your like laptop? No, no, for his, his oh, power. Cameron, water-cooled laptop would Cameron, be sweet. <laughs> tell me again how much your um, your iPad knockoff cost. Oh, this one? Yeah. Uh, it's the only iPad one. Knockoff. It's it's <laughs> it's not. It's a laptop. It's a pad, though. It's a laptop designed as a tablet. Yes. So it's just, yeah, it's a yeah. tablet. That was too much for what it was. But I didn't. Well, I ended up how paying much? for it, but I didn't buy it. How much? I think that setup is eight hundred dollars. So you bought a laptop I thing didn't that buy was it. more expensive it was a gift. than your. It, it was, was gifted to me. And semi, semi gift. And then, and then, and then. It's only the i3 version with 64 gigabytes of memory. Yeah, which is garbage. Fucking garbage. 400 bucks. Well, every time we have to, we want to play a game, we have to, Cameron has to sacrifice yeah. like something. Both a small, a small animal and a bunch of files on his computer. So I, I, used to have an I need hard to drive. buy a gaming laptop, and my budget is about $1,000. You're going to have something that's really nice for that. Only 200 more than your tablet. Yeah. Which that was a few years ago. Play though. like anything. That was also you, got that five, you got that like three years ago, right? It plays. It plays Age of Empires beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a twelve year old game. No, no, does it, does it, does it have all. Windows ninety eight on it? The no top of the line. <laughs> <laughs> top of the line. Good old uh, Windows ninety eight. Oh no heat God. spikes, no nothing. And then as soon as Civ Five starts going, it's like the fans just go, "Oh God!" But Quick, guys. Small. What's the Metacritic score for Age of Empires 2? 18 year old game, excuse me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Good God. Uh, well, I'm glad I can play that one. Oh, yeah. well, how much do you think you can get for that if you sold it? Probably like uh, 150. Oh. Wait, technology depreciates. Yeah. Actually, it's no, like especially if it's com. like freaking Apple stuff. And it's stuff. a tablet, so like people who jizz all over new tech are like, ah, oh, ta- oh, new tablet. They're yeah. never like, oh, old tablet. Yes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. They're, they upgrade 
very frequently. Yeah. So. I, I don't know, man. I'm not too much of a techie kind of guy. It's like, All right. I use it, I use we'll it. Well, get your laptop built, though. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see here. Let's go sell an item. Any guesses on how much I can sell it for on Gazelle? Um, Any guesses, anyone? 80 bucks. Uh, 150 um, 200. All right. 200. That's a bit high, Joe. Is it a bit oh, high? All right. Well, it's like 800 when you I don't think it'd it. be high for you. <laughs> all right. The Surface Pro 3 i3 64 gigabyte version. And it is functional. Um, no noticeable flaws. There we go. Next. Jesus I had the touch cover <laughs> and the power supply. $198. Oh, wow. oh, the winner. You get the Surface Pro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Second place. Oh, Caleb Gregg, oh Surface Pro. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least I know that it runs Age of Empires beautifully. Oh, yeah. yeah, No problems at all. (laughs) Yeah, just get you. How does it handle Doom? (laughs) You got to turn it down to the old school graphics. (laughs) (laughs) You got to you got to play in original mode or yeah. (laughs) Open GL is just a little much. Yeah, it's a little too much. You got to play on someone else's device until I crack into one of the old levels, and then I can play it. Oh my uh, god, man! I uh, I don't know. I don't yeah, know why so that was sold that, was, that other computer. That was purchased as a gift for me, and uh, it I was not purchased it. as a gift for you. I ended up paying for it. It was yeah. someone used your money to buy a gift. We're gonna buy Cameron a laptop, <laughs> and he's gonna pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the greatest, uh, the greatest gift ever. <laughs> Wonderful laptop. You know it. Great know laptop. It. Everyone knows it. Yeah. Um, last week we had a couple polls set up on the website, and I kind of want to go over the results. The tribunal. Yeah, we had a few tribunal cases. Um, the first was, "Am I guilty of defaming Caleb Craig?" And uh, speaking of, yes, I am totally guilty. Overwhelmingly of so. Six votes for innocent, twelve for guilty. I am. Oh, this was for the uh, for the yeah, suicide so, girls thing. Okay. Yeah. Photo photo shoot to come. Yeah, Good photo shoot. This, uh, <sighs> this green screen to do some awesome backgrounds uh, for that yeah. photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, nice yeah. Uh, beach back set. We could do some like fucking cars in the background, like he's like the girl on the car hood and uh, stuff like that. Dude, I don't want to take these. <laughs> <laughs> you have to. Why now. did you guys say this? Uh, because <laughs> this punishment needed to be unique. Well, the only reason why I'm guilty. Guilty is because of the punishment, though. No, no. you don't know that. No, I, I feel like whatever no. Trump. I feel like you rigged it. <laughs> it's rigged. It's rigged. It's, no, I feel like rigged. Craig rigged, rigged. it. We can't. We can't be. I won, but it's rigged. Look, we can't be putting out the punishment before we even find out if I'm guilty or not. I don't think we that's did how before. It works. No, yeah. well, the whoa, first whoa, trial whoa, against whoa, me, whoa, you're whoa. like, oh, if you're found guilty, whoa. you have to eat the thing of spam. Yep. We fucking said that. Yep. Yeah, we set precedence beforehand, yep. but we did. For future cases, we can leave the punishment Sorry, for man. later. I feel like the precedent punished. has been set that the punishment you will be set at some, the same time. You get some fake fucking how, how is it done? And, how is it done in real court? Is it? Don't they say if you found guilty, he's going to do this? No, the judge decides. What yeah, later what after okay. they decide. Well, you there. defamed me. I decide what you would, your punishment would be. But this is not the U.S. Yeah, this is the tribunal. <laughs> yeah, this is of very nude. This is very uh, tribal. Yeah. In a way. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> All right, fine. That's fine. I'll just get skimpy for Photo you Photo shoot. <laughs> what was Cameron's uh, thing? Oh, because I uh, shut down Caleb's stream. Yeah. And what were what were you supposed to do? No, we, they, we, we were just deciding we whether or not I was guilty. Of, yeah. We yeah. didn't think of something. And he was innocent, so uh, one loss for the Craig this week. Uh, eh. Everyone knew it was perfect. He's so happy. So happy bastards. Caleb Craig right here. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking piece not of really. shit. Not <laughs> really. Not really? <laughs> yeah. I see two trials, and they're both Caleb Craig against Caleb Schweiss trials. Yeah. And the rest no, was... No. And the other one well, was... The other one was against uh, him, and one I'm was I'm surprised you him. didn't put me on trial for that, too, because I told him for to do what? it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, dude, would it be funny if I took it down? Dude, you should do it. I'm like... He's gonna be you know fucking funny? pissed, but I'm gonna do and it. And Caleb Craig today, I was like, yeah, take the blowhorn to, to Cameron's door, and he's like, uh, uh, it's like mean. 
It's to me. <laughs> no, no, I said he's going to be mad, so it shouldn't be me. Uh, well, he I, wasn't very mad. I think he was already awake. Yeah. Or were you asleep? Well, I was hovering on the edge as I was hearing you guys discuss Living it. Living on the edge! I'm like, <laughs> 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 so you guys could have knocked and it would have been just fine, but since you did the blowhorn, I waited until you guys came to see me. All right, all right. <laughs> it was a very weak blowhorn, too. It was. It was like... <laughs> it had no boost, no gusto. <laughs> well, the gusto has been taken out of well, it. Well, if oh you God. go sit inside the closet and then have a blowhorn right next to the closet, oh, tell I'm me sure. how, how weak... That's what I was saying. I was like, it's probably going to be really loud. It's in really there. loud inside the closet. Yeah. Well, Joe tried to go for the uh, the crack under the door. I too. know, because that was where my head was. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting a well, much bigger reaction from you. Yeah, I was yeah, expecting We were kind of hoping you'd like hit your head on something as you like, There's jumped nothing to up. hit my head on. <laughs> There's nothing to hit yeah. my head on. Well, he there. assumed you chumped up all the way, like you. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is not him offering me a bed at, while sleeping on the ground outside camping trip. That's not, that's worthy of jumping up and just shooting out of your sleeping bag. <laughs> no, this was just like, uh, fuck you. <laughs> Can I see the blowhorn? Just so, uh, just in case anybody doesn't believe us here. So it's, it's kind of weak though. It's like yeah, it's, it's weak still above it's, the no, yeah. ah. It's still above oh, the fucking go. decibel of hearing. That, that thing should, is still like seven years old though. I mean, you got to give it some credit for still it, working. It's seven years old. We got this in Christmas. I, it, I gave this yeah in Christmas of 2010. Yeah. No, oh no, 2009. Oh, so it's eight years old. Uh, many, oh, well, many an ear rape yeah. I've suffered at the hands of that. Yeah. So I'm surprised you're not the one using it. I mean, you're the fucking, you're the dude in this group that will just burn through someone's supplies. I had this like $10 bottle of fucking, uh, spray so, on sunscreen. So sad. <laughs> oh, that is Sounds awful. Like feedback. <laughs> I can't work anymore. <laughs> No, anyway, I had this, uh, I went to the fairgrounds like f- five years ago or something, and I bought this fucking, it was like a 9 or $10 bottle of spray-on sunscreen at a 7-Eleven. <laughs> okay. So this thing was like coveted, right? And right. I come home, and Cameron has a fucking lighter, and this thing of sunscreen, he's like, dude, you asshole. <laughs> and he like goes over to Waylon, and he's like, hey, Waylon. <laughs> I did not shoot that at Waylon. <laughs> And it's up defamation. I'm like, dude, what are you, like, dude, what defamation are you doing here? <laughs> I did not do that to women. And it was like a handful of times. It wasn't like I was constantly doing it. <laughs> yeah, a handful a of Twelve times. dollar bottle of yeah. You're just like fucking drink. <laughs> No. Like, dude, how no, expensive no, no. that shit is. It, Especially yeah. when you have to get this fucking dollars SPF bullshit like I do. Yeah. It's fucking pricey. And then there was, I, I swear to God, there were two bottles of that. I had another one for my golfing bag, and I took it out, and you were just, like, burning through that one, too. No, I was not. Stop. I, just fucking. It was something. There was some other form of canister liquid that you were burning. <laughs> I was you might have been like deep. I was using <laughs> my awful. my cologne, my other cologne. Oh, is that what it was? It only do a little puff yeah. and it wasn't as good as the sunscreen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I, I remember Cam Cam's a pyromaniac. I assume so. it wasn't as good as the sunscreen because there wasn't any sunscreen. There left. was <laughs> plenty of sunscreen left. <sighs> I think someone owns someone some sunscreen. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> the amount yeah. how long ago was Do this? you know how expensive spray on sunscreen is? Like out of touch, fifteen dollars for a bottle. Out of touch, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, it's How much a is a gallon there of milk, go. Cameron? How much is a gallon of milk? Uh, seven sixty eight, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, yeah. Can't elect him. He's out of touch. <laughs> He's not normal like the rest of us losers. Can't be in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on a side note, Utah's uh, planning on raising food taxes, but that's a side note. Oh, that's fun. Well, didn't they just lower those? Yeah. Because it was 6%. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. And so then it went down to three. Went down to three. Yeah. And so they're thinking about I didn't know it back why they lowered it in the first place. I was like, six was fine, right? No. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. Lost revenue. So we're going <laughs> to. Yeah. No shit. You lost revenue. <laughs> and they lost half of it. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, no, they started taxing something else more, but that something else wasn't paying off like, you, what, mm. like the food tax was because everyone fucking needs uh, food. <laughs> I know they raised the syntax. So. Yeah. Yeah. 
What is that, alcohol? alcohol? Yeah, cigarettes and alcohol. Yeah. Oh. The well, same tax. That's what that is. They raise the cigarette one like everywhere, so it's really, really bad here. It's like super Yeah, high. it's like eight bucks a cart, like a thing of cigarettes. Yeah. Eight bucks a cart. And a lot of that is tax. If you smoke a pack a day, do the math. I was looking it's online at, 240 their, at bucks if it's flow $3 chart of what to charge at um, full tax, what to charge at uh, reduced tax, and it's like the simplest fucking language that they could use. Is this going to be consumed for taste or nutrition? <laughs> <laughs> yes or no? No, full tax. Yes, here's our second flow chart. <laughs> <laughs> God, dude. Dude, I fucking hate people who use the food stamp at the gas station. Oh, uh, your gas station takes them? Yeah. Mine does yours not? Uh-uh. Oh, because you have morals? Is that why? <laughs> God, dude. I cannot. I'm like, y- you want like a $6 gallon of milk? Come to our store. Yeah. And waste fucking half your food stamp money on that shit. Or, even better, food stamps totally okay to buy fucking energy drinks with. Mm-hmm. That's uh, bullshit. Yeah. I wouldn't, let them, I wouldn't let them do that when I was in... Uh, Hostess and friends. I told them no. Yeah. Oh, you. you yeah, I, was they like, could. I was like, yeah, we can't take those. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah, we can't do it. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's not yeah. food. You could. So, yeah. Well, well could have gotten in trouble for that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Bit. Eh. I don't care. <laughs> well, obviously now. Dude, no, I hate it. No they're like, well, I can go get him from Maverick. And I was like, then go get him in Maverick then. I don't know if they Did people them, ask you if they could buy uh, cigarettes with EBT? No, no one's asked that. But uh, people have put like everything up there and be like, "Oh, this is separate." When I worked in the Orem one, they took a EBT, um, and I got like a shitload of people asking if they could buy like alcohol and tobacco with the EBT cards. And, and I was I like, I was like, "No, get out of here! <laughs> get out of here, you scum! Jesus! Yeah, get, get out!" No more showing your face here. Speaking of scum, dude, last night, <laughs> so. Uh, you know, pretty much every night someone comes in to some weirdo and yeah. browses the store for like 20 minutes. Always, yeah. Last night, this dude came in for like, uh, well, it was up to the 45 minute point when I was getting real like antsy pissed <laughs> with him. So he comes in, he's kind of like a, they're always fucking slow people. Either because they're mentally deficient or, oh, they're, no, no, no. or they're fucking high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This is one of the two or both. Yep. Uh, and so he just kind of, he just kind of meandered like, he like, I don't know, morphs in to the gas station. Just <laughs> <laughs> like he comes in the gas station, he's all greasy, weird looking, and he just, he moves really weird. And he's like, I'm just going to use the restroom. And then he passes me in the hall and I'm like, okay, all right. All right, guy. <sighs> That was the first experience I had with him. He must have been in there for like 30 fucking minutes because then the store clears out. He comes kind of comes morphing back from the restroom out of the hall. <laughs> morphing back into the hallway. And then he proceeds to browse the store for like 30 minutes. And then he starts looking at the food stuff. And because he's kind of this weird, slow-moving kind of guy, mm-hmm. um, he, he has to go. He has to take forever, like, looking at the first thing he looked at was the fucking salad. So he, like, goes to the salad rack, and he, like, he picks them all up, and he's like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, that's what I'm hearing from the fucking desk. And I'm like, <laughs> is he talking to himself? Is he talking to me? Um, the, the price is, um, doesn't make sense. Hey, do you... Uh, God, as he, like, turns to me, like, <laughs> Hey, do you... Uh, the salad? No. I'm like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> and then he, like... He comes to the desk and he's all he's all pissed off too. He's like got an attitude with him. He's like this slow, weird man with an attitude. <laughs> and he's like, Okay, do you... Uh, you understand this? And then he puts the salad down on my desk. And someone had put the sticker. Uh, it had the price for the thing. So mm-hmm. from a label maker. So it had two six, then the dollar sign, and then 4.99. Mm-hmm. It's like, can you read this price tag? And I'm like, well, it says 4.99. I don't know where the 26 came from. It could have been the date. And it's he, usually the date. And then he likes, he's like, <sighs> and then he takes the salad and then he's like slinks off with it again. And then he <laughs> looks at some other shit and then he comes back to the salads and he's like, mm, 
how fresh is the meat in your salads? <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I took a second not to laugh because it sounded like a weird uh, <laughs> euphemism for something. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, dude, I don't, they were I don't know. And he's like, <laughs> I don't know. Fine. And then he wanders around a little bit more and he's looking around the chairs and he's like scooting the chairs. Remember, all this movement is very slow, very <laughs> slow movement. And he's like, how come you guys don't have any wall chargers? Actually, he said, I mean, I don't have any wall chargers. Then I go, I'm sorry. How come you guys don't have any wall chargers? Like, fucking dude, I'm 40 feet away from you at this point. Like, why the fuck are you still mumbling? Like, I'm in, uh, like, I'm two inches away from you and you're talking into my ear. Dude, they what? always think they have megaphones. And then, I don't know. Yeah, and the store's loud. Like, there's always, like, fans whirring, and, like, there's <laughs> these annoying commercials that are like, get our nitro car today. Yeah. <laughs> there's, like, shit like that going, like, I can't hear this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then <laughs> he's like, I go, I don't I don't know why there's no wall charge. He's like, I don't know. It's 2017. Jesus, 2017. That's what he does. And he like puts his hands through his greasy fucking hair. And then How he, old like, is this guy, he continues, fast. I don't know, f- like 40. Oh, wow. And then he like starts like meandering through the store again. <laughs> and he finally decides to get his fucking salad. And then he comes over and he's like, Do I get any dressing? <laughs> I'm like, yes, there is dressing right below where the salads were. I'm like, yes, sir, there are dressings down there, and then there are forks right next to you. And he's like, okay. And he totally didn't listen to me because after he bought the salad, which, of course, his credit card transaction took like six years. Mm Because he just had to, like, he had to find it in his wallet with slow fucking moving hand (laughs) and then take out the card as slow Uh, as fucking possible and then, like, uh, it's a chip. And I'm like, well, we don't take chip. It has to be a slide card. It's a chip card. Sir, sir, you have to slide it. He's like, ugh, fine. And then it slides just fine. Slides just fine. Yeah. uh, uh, and I'll get on the sliding <laughs> shit in a minute, okay? Because <laughs> I'm sure I, you see the same I know, shit that I do. I know everything. Uh, and that, so he finally gets the fucking salad. And then he also he sits down at the fucking desk. And I'm sure he asks me like a couple other really fucking annoying questions. And I'm like, this is my one hour, like the three o'clock to four o'clock hour is my hour where I just kind of chill before I have to get back to work again. So I'm always like. Come on, dude. Why the fuck? Why the fuck do you have to be in here? And why the fuck do you have to be bothering me? I kid you not, dude. He, first off, it takes forever to get the fucking dressings or whatever he wants on the salad. Like, he has to pace around the condiments area. And then he finally starts eating the salad. (laughs) And after, like, I don't know, 20 minutes of, like, slowly eating the salad, he puts his head down and he goes to sleep. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah. And then I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck? And so I, I do some work. I like brew some coffee and stuff. And I, I go into the office and he's just like, he's still laying there, man. And it's been like, dude, he's been in the store at this point for like an hour and a half. Wow. And I'm like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Should I call the cops? Because he's loitering right now. And then like I went out there. Uh, after I was like, okay, okay, I gotta be brave. This could be like a weird homeless dude and he could like pull a knife on me, but I gotta be brave. And I go, sir, 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 (laughs) at this volume level, and I'm like two feet away from him, sir, sir, nothing. He was not waking up and I didn't want to touch him because like that's, you don't touch people, just strangers. And I was like, okay, fine. I go back into the office and do some more work and then I come back out and I'm like, okay, this guy has to go. Like, in my head, I was going to be like, get the fuck out of my store. And so I knock on the table that he's uh, that he's um, laying on. And he's like, oh. I'm like, sir, you can't sleep here. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then he starts eating a salad. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, continues to eat the salad. <sighs> I kid you not, dude. That guy was in there from 3.30 to when I had to go home at 6 a.m. He was in the store for that long 
being at least that's when I looked at the clock was three thirty. Like he he was in there before then, and uh, oh my god, dude, it was the worst customer experience I've ever had in my fucking life. Like high dipshits who walk around the store for like twenty minutes are bad enough because yeah. I'm like, dude, I gotta get. I have to clean the store, so I can't just stand at the cash register all night waiting for you motherfuckers to get over here. Jesus Christ. How about you buy your food before you smoke the weed? How about that? How about you buy your food in advance of the weed? Can we try that instead? People never do that. They have to, like, uh, let's smoke well, they, it. Then, well, they uh, burn through all the food they have, and they need to go get more. slowly make our way to the gas station and then pace around the chip aisle for 20 minutes before finally buying a Mountain Dew. Dude, the store in Orem had to stop <laughs> selling Rolos because people would uh, buy them to cook heroin. Oh wow! Yeah, Rolos. So, oh, wow. Yeah, the, like heroin? the gold, the gold foil. Uh, they use uh, it in, when they're like trying to get high in the uh, bathrooms, yeah. and oh, because people God. realized that's what they were doing, our uh, our stores had to stop selling fucking Rolos that because mother- of that. That motherfucker with the fucking how fresh is the meat in your salad shit? <laughs> how fresh God. is the meat? If, oh my god, dude! There Gosh, was a, my salad there was with your a meat. A couple weeks ago, there was like uh, he was like say, he was doing the same shit. Only it was like more crazy, but he was in there for less time. Yeah. So he was like walking around. I mean, I fucking can I use your phone? Can I uh, fucking? He was on I, fucking, fucking meth. Fuck, fuck. Ah. Uh, uh, I can't leave. Uh, I'm waiting for my grandpa. My grandpa's not answering the phone. Fuck. That was like two hours of my fucking life with yeah, that guy. Uh, but it was earlier in the night, so it wasn't as bad. <laughs> and then uh, and then he was like, uh, oh, like uh, was, uh, uh, the people, people across the street, they're going to kill me. And I'm like, I don't see anybody, dude. You got to get out of the store. <laughs> okay. It was, it was uh, acid or mushrooms or something. Like I that. don't know, man. So I, uh, this is a uh, drug usage hour with... Joe and Caleb. Oh my god, dude! I fucking studying hate the, druggies. Studying the effects of drugs. I fucking bad, hate dude. tweakers. There is nothing I hate more than a fucking tweaker. Yeah. Now I hate potheads too. Don't get me wrong. I hate them too, but they are not nearly as bad as the fucking tweakers. Yeah. Or like someone who says they used to do drugs. And they still, still do. Probably still do, and definitely still act like they do. Yeah. Where all they want to do is fucking talk to you all goddamn day. Mm hmm. Uh, cigarettes, uh, cigarettes. You shouldn't smoke these cigarettes. Uh,. You fucking, you know what I'm talking oh, about, I man. I do, yeah. They They're just talk nuts. about, like, whatever they can fucking find. Like, I had a guy talk to me for, like, over an hour about the tax on uh, on cigarettes and how, like... It's fucking bullshit. And how, how he had to, like, stop. And after, like, uh, 20 years of having not paid for the cigarettes anymore, he was able to buy, like, new power tools. And I was like, okay, dude, that's cool. <laughs> Go away now, <laughs> please. <Let me> <laughs> Cheering out. Yeah, then, yeah, then I had a, and when I worked at Little Caesars, one of the bosses I had there is uh, the 50 year old woman who just never, just burned out inside. It's all <laughs> burnt out. Just uh, short circuit. <laughs> You're saying there's an archetype here? Uh huh. Uh, yeah. can't, can't do anything more, more Dude, complicated than a pizza. Uh, having a drunk hobos come in is also pretty fun. Yeah. They just like sit in the corner for it hours and then they'll like and then they'll go outside for a little bit and then they'll come in and then they'll buy booze and then they'll try to drink it in there like uh inconspicuously like you don't know what they're trying to do (laughs) and i'm like dude you can't do that in here (laughs) oh fuck dude fuck the public Uh, hate these motherfuckers oh dude it's bad when they're running for office 2017 just dude when people are waiting (laughs) for the the public (laughs) when people are waiting for the bus near my place they're exactly like like the guy joe just described (laughs) all the dude when he says something you know he's telling the truth we're gonna make provo great again they're so so fucking slow yeah they're so slow just speed up like i can't understand and sometimes it's like a normal person okay so the guy last night was not a normal person no he was fucked up in the head in some way okay yeah. all right i'll give him that bullshit uh i don't like that he has family that just let him go off like that we're like oh jimmy he's just gonna go off like that he's gonna annoy maverick people <laughs> yeah. for the rest of his life uh so that pisses me off but like the the 20 something or the 30 something year old dude who's just like He's just not there. That that 
that is also in my like top five hit list of like people that need to be um, <clears throat> need to have uh, their genitals removed. Anyone that spends more uh, than five minutes in the gas station <laughs> yes! looking at shit needs to die. <laughs> or, or just the if I go, uh, it's five sixty seven, and they're like they're they're slowly moving. They go what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Like, this is the part where you... Can you please game? just be present? <laughs> Can you be a human being? Can you not, like, pretend that there's not 12 people behind you in line <laughs> while you're slowly bringing out your fucking debit card that's going to be declined six times? Yeah. Now, how about that? How about you just be a fucking human being and not be this, like, waste of fucking husk of existence? <laughs> what? what are they? Who are these people? What's funny is uh, I can go and buy beer like totally hammered and totally get and I can get away with it each time. Every time I've tried to buy beer wasted, I can. And it's because I can be casual while I'm <laughs> wasted. But so many people just can't. They can't do it. They can't just be fucking chill. They can't be quick. I'm slow. I'll yeah. be looking at my wallet and I'm like, oh, fuck. Trying to pull the card out <laughs> like, oh, he's going to know. <laughs> I whip it out. I'm like, oh. Oh, and then I try to slide it, and I like slide the wrong side, and I'm like, "Fuck!" I flip it around, and I go. But yeah, you think they? Yeah, don't I don't. Know. I don't understand. Like, I, I have been, you know, I've been pretty drunk, and I don't. I just that doesn't make sense. Have you ever spent more than five minutes in a gas station? No, never. Okay. <laughs> Well, there you go. Not browsing. Like, no one fucking dude. Like, I yeah. spent that long in a gas station waiting in a fucking line. Yeah, so that's oh about God. it. And and like these people, dude, they're fucking adults. And they're like, there was a dude last week who had five of his credit cards declined in a row. And I'm like, <laughs> this should be a fucking sign to you, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> Five credit cards in a row. And he's like, oh, this one's not working. Oh, I'm sorry. How about this one? And then, okay, this wasn't a slow guy. This was like a normal, like he felt normal. But he obviously was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, can do they not see themselves from another person's point of view? Like the Maverick guy that's sitting in front of them having to deal with their bullshit? Their bullshit. Yeah. The microphone's mad at me. Way to ruin it. Yeah, they're, they're bullshit, dude. It's it's awful. I hate, and the scum of the earth, and the EBT cards, yeah. and the lady who, like, put, I'm going to put 80 bucks on my tank, and she has, like, a tiny little car out there. So she can, and then she only uses $10 of it, so she gets the change. change. Yep. It's evil. Oh, those fucking bastards. It's evil. I'm like. And you can't put it back on the EBT? No. No. God. You can't do that. EBT takes. Yeah, and of course Craig probably falls for it every time, and he's like, "No, we don't do we don't do uh, the EBT, but they they give us like hundreds just so they can break them." Yeah. And what pisses me off about that is you have to specifically ask for hundreds from the bank when you're getting stuff out of the bank. <laughs> so it's like, why the fuck would you get hundreds if you're just gonna break it? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Uh, most the of the power. hundreds I see are from uh, Hispanic people. Yeah, it, no, dude. It is. It I, is think a, uh, I think there's something. No, I think there's something. It's always there. That It's there. always older Hispanic people. Yep. yep. And then uh, just like elderly people who do not trust the government. <laughs> yeah. That is the only two groups yeah. that you will consistently they, uh, find hundred dollars yeah, because they, they trail. They. Uh, well, I don't know if it's the trail thing. I think they just use cash. Yeah. More than. Yeah, anything. but it's just like why don't just use they just don't have credit. Well, you this say that, 20s. but you don't use credit, so you know what? I, you know what? I want to see. I want to see a fifty dollar bill again, dude. Yeah. I, we get fifties a lot. Yeah. I haven't seen fifties in a long time. That's because yeah. you don't operate with we cash. Get 50s. Yeah, fifties. I I, I want to get rid of hundreds. So they used to have a five hundred. Country bill. should stop doing hundreds <laughs> and pennies. I want to take out a five hundred dollar bill. I want to. I want to have a five hundred dollar bill just to have it. No, that would be dumb. Yeah. There'd be no point. Yeah, no, well, you have to. The there's literally you, no point in having a So that he can bill. bug someone at a gas no, station. No, yeah, he's going to take no, 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 it no, no, to pace no, no, no. Hey, and he's going to buy this? a meat stick. Is this okay? Can you no, break no, no, this? No, 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 no. The only reason I would have a $500 bill is to take it to pay a bill with. Oh, my 
Yeah. Is so you just oh. you take the five hundred dollars and well, you go you, to another bank and deposit there. If you get a lot of cash, they're having a hundred. I, well, well, yeah, for poor there. people, there'd be even less point to have freaking okay, five hundred. Not, not bills. everybody here is super poor. Everybody uses their fucking credit or debit card for every transaction. There is literally no point to be carrying any more money than fifty dollars in like twenties and tens. You know what I'm gonna do from now on? I'm gonna go to Kill store and pay in pennies. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, broke into my daughter's piggy bank. I don't mind. It's yeah, legal yeah, tender. Yeah. You just shatter the bank on the counter, and it's like, well, it looks like it's all pennies this time. <laughs> I've had people pay with pennies. Yeah. I literally had somebody come in and pay $30 of gas with quarters. Well, that's fine. Yeah, that <laughs> that's only 120 quarters, Caleb. That's not that bad. It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Caleb, you you have can, so it's not their much fault change. you can't count past 20. It's <laughs> so much change, and it's annoying because it like holds up lines. Oh, my God, dude. I just remember, uh, okay, so we have to put these fucking hot dogs in. And they take 10 minutes, and then the oven makes, like, a really loud uh, <laughs> screeching, like, the uh, alarm thing. That, yeah, when like, it's done? Ee- like, it goes like that. And it's it's about that loud in your ears, as loud as I hear it back to me in the, uh, in the mixer. Excuse me. And um, oh, the dude was coming up to pay for a cup of coffee after he'd gotten his salad. And then the thing went off and was like, okay, i got to do this so I can take care of it. And, of course, he takes for fucking ever, and he's like... Oh wow, that's uh, that's that's hurting my ears, and I'm like, yeah, it's hurting mine too. I'm like I'm trying to tell him, you know, this is a, hey, this is your hint to fucking move your ass while you're getting your fucking card out of your out of your uh, wallet. Oh, that's really hurting. And then he slides the fucking card, and then it declines twice, and he's like, oh wrong card, and then he, <laughs> and it's like, oh, are your ears really hurting that bad? God, dude, fuck, fuck people. Yeah. Fuck all these people. Just kill them all. Yep, kill them all. And the next day, Joe did not have a job at the Maverick Stores. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, Joe, like, once told me, he's like, I don't understand how people in gas stations, like, the clerks in gas stations, they're always so, like, they seem all pissy. And it's like, <laughs> now you know why. <laughs> it's because you get customers like that uh, all the time. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I get a, there's just a, there's a point in the night kind of midway through my shift that I'm like, in the night. I gotta do shit. And if you're in here, <laughs> it's really bad for me. So <laughs> slowing me down, Holmes. Yeah. It's always like that. It's super annoying. Yeah. One but Caleb just yeah. says, uh, they can wait. No, I have to help them. Yeah. God, dude. Like, it, you right. cannot do your side work until they those customers are, are helped. Like yeah. you cannot uh, gas station people do not like that. Well, there's a. Uh, it's too bad, dude. They oh, the people take forever, or they like ask you for fucking favors. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, can I, I go, bum a cigarette off you? I'll pay you back. Later. Oh my god! Or if they're in a, this is what happened. <laughs> I think it was the night before last. Two guys come in and they look like they're twenty, and one of them at one of them buys cigarettes, and it's obvious that they're in a group. And I'm like, I have to card you both. Know that right? And then one guy's like, okay, I'll just leave. Like, one guy, and I'm like, like it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I know that you're in a group now, and I cannot legally sell you these cigarettes. Come on, dude. Like, the whole, the come-ons and the, oh, come on. That's not you should, fair. Like, like, you should know that that's not look, like dude, how that works. If it were me, who was in charge here, if you were the one who was legally of age, and you were in a group, and you were the one who bought them, I would give you these cigarettes. But I have been specifically told, and trust me, the 20 fucking security cameras are also telling me (laughs) that I cannot sell these if you have friends in here that look like they're about the same age as you. I can't fucking sell you these things if not everybody gives me their their ID. Yeah. Yeah. And they always try to fucking bargain with you. It's a fucking bargaining system. It's not a bargain. I can't bargain with you. It's a no. Yeah, they either bargain with you or they get really fucking pissed off. They do. They do. And they're like, (coughs) fine, fuck this. Uh, Or like the guy left 10 minutes later and came back and he's like, can I still buy? Can I buy these now? And I'm like, no. No, you, you cannot. We, we still. Yeah, I cannot still, sell these to you still until your friend comes in here with his ID. Yeah, I can't do that. 
God. Because, yeah, it's like you're still with your friend. I just, <laughs> you can't. Yeah, two weeks later, I'm sorry. You were still with your buddy. You can't uh, You can't buy him. Yeah. That's the rule. Your buddy needs to come here with you. Oh, fuck you. He died, man. No, I don't care. You're going to have to bring his fucking rotting corpse in here bring with his, his body fucking and ID. his ID. Hey, here's an idea. How about you quit smoking? Yeah. <laughs> or that. <laughs> How about that? How about that? How about you don't how waste do you, eight do bucks these gas of stations make off every of other day anyway? on this shit? Uh, how, how much of your cell uh, percentage is cigarette? No, doesn't matter to Joe. He doesn't think about uh, the cell the percentage gain. is low, but we do make like my store makes around like five hundred dollars in an like eight hour shift generally. The, just, I, from just from oh, cigarettes. Just from cigarettes. And, and like, my, store is, <laughs> my store is my store is slow. Just, just like him. <laughs> and what's with cigarette people always being these nervous fucks? They're always nervous. They're always like, uh, uh, I need. <laughs> I'm like, just calm the fuck down, it's man. It's because they need it. Yeah. Come on. What if What if we weren't open? Where What were your Where would your state of mind be? Uh, they don't even want to go to fucking Walmart in the late hours yeah. either. Walmart is open twenty four yeah. fucking seven Dude. with hardly anyone in there Dude. at the and, nighttime. And, and from and two nobody wants to fucking to go to five a.m. at Walmart is like prime Walmart time. Yeah. It's like. This is the time when Walmart is actually a good store because there's fucking no one here and it's the biggest store in the fucking world. Yeah, and, and they like, still have like five people working the registers. Your, yeah, yeah, same amount of people working the registers. Yeah. <laughs> and the world is your fucking oyster and you have to come here and get everything overpriced and also bug the shit out of me. Yeah, it's ridiculous. How about you bug the shit out of the Walmart people? Yeah, it's Come even on. like slightly cheaper at Walmart yeah. too. All right, even for cigarettes. That was a good, uh, a good episode of getting fat right there. Yeah, yeah. gold's great. going well. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. How about those sure. blog posts? Behind. How about the books? Behind on both. Like by how much? A lot. A lot. Yep. Not on the blog posts. I'm not super behind. I'm uh, reading the Intelligent Investor right now, and after that, I'll read your Don book. <laughs> my dom book <laughs> your dom book alright well I'm yeah. I'm with it whoa the green You're screen is freaking out <laughs> yeah it is yeah it's cause the sun changed a little bit oh um, yeah. Kilo has a halo I do <laughs> it recognizes me as a holy being oh the breasts are still pretty good behind me oh look at Joe he's like fucking pale <laughs> yes I am this All is right. good audio stuff right here. Uh, NewClan.net yeah. is where you can find everything. You can support the show on Amazon.com uh, by clicking through the Amazon banner on our site. You can also go to Patreon.com and support NudeClan. Yeah, we're going to have a drawing here pretty soon. At the end of this month, we're going to put everyone's names on little uh, fucking uh, tags or what the fuck are those? Tickets? Yeah, tickets. Yeah, we're going to draw them out of a hat. and uh, It's probably going to be a <laughs> draw them out of your ass. Bonus. Jurassic Park commentary is available there as well. Yeah, we've got to finish those up. Facebook.com slash Nude Clan Podcast. It's new spelled N E W D. And then uh, twitch.tv slash Nude Clan Gaming. Nude spelled the correct way. Uh, you can uh, you can tweet me at Joseph Villier. Me at Obsidian Bar. Me at Nude Clan Cam. Me, and I'll actually answer at UFF Podcast. Uh, what Fuck do you, you I always mean? respond. <laughs> I respond. <laughs> what are you talking about? Cameron, there was a time where I looked at your Twitter and it was like the first page was all just auto tweets. Yeah, episodes. because no one ever tweeted me. And ever since I sat, had that complaint, people have now consistently been tweeting me and I've been responding. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, they've there been, you go. What's been happening is they tweet everybody rather than just one or two of us. Yeah. So that's what's been going on. And if Which I, I specifically works. mentioned, oh, we should get them to do this... Then yes, I will respond to you. Other shows include there you go. <laughs> uh, Super Sexy Swing of Fan Fiction, Ultima Final Fantasy, the Ultimate Final Fantasy Podcast, and uh, the Godzilla Podcast. Is that well. still going? Is that fuck you? It's going. <laughs> okay, okay. It's going <laughs> strong. Oh, I, they I got a say. they got an episode today. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Got an episode planned epi- today with a guest. Oh, oh. with a guest. You wait, the guest like a listener guest, like someone nope. who actually listens to the show, nope. like a sci-fi writer. Oh, who cool. is mm. who Drew always talks to on Twitter, and he's coming on to talk who about it? the worst fucking Godzilla movie on the planet. So who is it? Um, he's called he calls himself G Man. Oh yeah, I've seen yeah. that guy. He's got a picture of Putin as his thing. No, it's a it's not a picture of Putin. It's a picture of Nick Adams, 
from uh, uh, Invasion of the Astro Monster. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I thought it was Putin this whole time. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely not Putin. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a similar jawline, I guess, but uh, it's definitely Nick, Nick Adams. Caleb's got to look actor. it up because he's. Uh, Oh, it isn't Putin. You're right. From in a small picture, I was like, "Why does he have Putin as this thing?" That's kind of weird. Yeah, look there. Doesn't that look like Putin? Uh, the only in good a small image, yes. Only good one picture with, with one eye, eye, maybe. Yeah, shirtless Putin, on like the a horse. yeah, like a. It's like a young Putin, is what I thought it was. <laughs> totally not Putin. Okay, cool. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always. In the nude. Fuck off. Yeah!